There's not going to be an intro with this video. We're doing this one live because I didn't want to wait till I got back because I think the information is just too important to get out there. So if you weren't aware, the FCC was just served with a petition to completely reconfigure the 902 through 928 megahertz band and replace the location and monitoring service with high powered 5G cellular and related location services. So, you know, there's a similar issue going on with the GPS bands as well, which I'm going to get into in a video that's just dedicated to GPS devices. But for this issue, there's this company, Next, Next Nav Incorporated, and they are a geolocation company that, of course, focuses on 3D positioning, navigation, and timing systems to complement and back up the GPS system in order to help mitigate the risk to the country. And they're saying they can help public safety by providing location information and situational awareness indoors and in multi-story buildings and to branch this technology out for commercial applications as well. So, you know, this company NextNav, they currently hold licenses in the 900 megahertz band that authorizes it to provide services that are limited to determining the location and status of mobile radio units. So NextNav is making an argument that by providing high power broadband cellular and location services to the vulnerabilities of the current satellite-based GPS system, it would provide an alternate to GPS in addition to broadband and cellular services. So they have a huge selling point to drive home why they're looking to do this. But in order to accomplish this, they want to be the sole nationwide licensee for this band spectrum. If the FCC grants this, it would allow for NextNav to provide a much higher powered traditional broadband with 5G cellular service as well as the related location services, which would then occupy 15 of the total 26 megahertz available in the band. They also propose the deletion of the specific interference provision that's in the commission's rules right now that was adopted to encourage and protect continued sharing with secondary and amateur users. So in response to NextNav's petition, which you can read on FCC.gov, um, the FCC requested comment from the ARRL, and they are preparing their comments to emphasize the need for protection of the bands for existing and future amateur use. And they are also urging all amateurs to file their own comments describing their activities in the band, the effect of the proposed changes. And so, you know, they, they want to hear from everybody out there to say, to make the argument as to why we shouldn't as amateurs lose access to the 900 megahertz band. Um, and the filing deadline for that is September 5th. And then any replies to those comments will have to be, you know, put out by September 20th. So let me know in the comments what you think of this, if you're for it or against it. I actually feel that, you know, the system that this, you know, company NextNav is proposing is incredible and I don't do too much in the 900 megahertz range. So, you know, yeah, I think when I release the GPS video, it will kind of blow your mind a little bit more, but it's somewhat directly related to this, you know, so, yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I wanted to get this info out, you know, to everybody if they weren't aware of it. It's kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. So with that, be safe.